Hello everyone, it's Megan, your best friend wandering. I'm still in Rome. Today we're going to the Colosseum. I am really excited because we're doing an underground tour. So we're gonna see just like everything the gladiators saw when they were, you know, fighting in the arena. So that's really fun. <laughs> Every time I go to the Colosseum, it just feels like I've stepped back in time because everything's so well preserved. It's one of those rare places that just stood the test of time. So you, you get to really see and feel like what it was like. If you're wanting to see a shorter version of this video, which I'm just gonna highlight like five things that a gladiator would have seen if they were fighting in the arena and uh, in the Colosseum in ancient Rome, you can follow us on our TikTok. And if you're just wanting to see the cool pictures that I get with my little travel logs, anecdotes, all of that, uh, you can go ahead and follow us on Instagram. With that, let's get going. Because it's driving my mom crazy that I'm not super detailed, here's the historian of the family. How old is the Colosseum? It's almost 2,000 years old. Okay, I'm gonna get corrected a lot today because my history major of a mom just cannot, <laughs> can't handle it when, I, when I'm vague. Or wrong. Or wrong, nope. Anyone else have a Virgo parent? Try being wrong around your Virgo parent. <laughs> it's just not allowed. Ever. <laughs> I'm trying to be funny sometimes and she's just like, that's not what it is. It says right here on the paper, it's <laughs> X, Y, Z. And I'm like, I know mom, I can read too. <laughs> I care. You're just funny about it. <laughs> We're here. It's a Coliseum right behind me. We have to go meet our tour group, but isn't that cool? So it really kind of amazes me that the architecture for the Colosseum is still used for stadiums today. A lot of Roman architecture actually is still used to this day, but uh, it's like every time I go to a stadium or anything like for a game or like hockey game, I'm always like, oh look, it's like a Colosseum because of the way they built it so that it's easy, easily evacuated and filled up and all the arches and everything that hold quite a bit of weight. So I'm just amazed. I'm amazed that this was built over a thousand years ago without you know the modern tools that we have now. The guide said we're gonna go to the forum first? Yes. Okay. Actually, we haven't toured the forum before. No, not well. Not well. <laughs> I take that back. So I guess they just cleaned, they just cleaned it? Apparently recently. Okay. Many years ago, we did a tour of Palatine Hill that was kind of an unofficial one from this lady that was absolutely batshit crazy. <laughs> But she spoke English, I think. <laughs> I didn't care. I would have preferred Italian and guessing over that kind of batshit crazy. <laughs> I don't even... I, I just remember looking at this lady like, oh my god, ma'am. <laughs> it's a fun memory now, but at the time we were so confused. <laughs> So she's saying each of those arches are... Represent a military a victory. military victory, okay. So our tour guide was just letting us know that a lot of the marble that was on the buildings here got recycled in the Middle Ages for the churches. Stolen. Stolen. They say recycled. And that it was Constantine that started the uh, decline of the Roman city, at least. She's not very fond of him. Neither am I, quite frankly. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> Tell me what you just told me, Mom. She's correcting the tour guide. Hold on. Okay, I'm pretty sure that Constantine Christianized the Roman Empire in 312. What I tell you, having a Virgo 313. parent. 313. <laughs> but I will look it up, and I'll admit if I'm wrong. So she was saying that's what the road signs looked like. That's a duplicate, though. So the tour guide was letting us know this victory arch here was had to do with the um, the Jewish wars. They said she said. Well, when Jerusalem was conquered by Rome, yeah, and they took all the gold stuff, <laughs> yeah, including the menorahs, yeah. And on one side you can see the menorah and the I guess to show that it was the Jews. Jewish people they were conquering Jerusalem and on the other side over there is the emperor with Nike I think she said yeah. the goddess Nike symbolizing their victory and at the very top you can see eagles with the emperor signifying I guess that he ascended to be a god all of these emperors had very big egos 
So did the pharaohs. They were living gods in their eyes. I'm like, really? You all were kind of deformed. I don't know if that's very godlike. I love reading. Yeah. I love how they always like depicted themselves looking very like statuesque and strong and then like they dug them up and then recreated what they would actually look like and they were very sh they look like Dobby. Like well, Caesar Augustus wasn't such a handsome guy as his. He was not. All of his busts like I said in the last video were made after um Alex to look like Alexander the Great, which who knows what he actually looked like either because yeah. you have to he, remember his, his portraits are probably fake too. Yeah, cuz you have to remember <laughs> that like when you're doing a portrait or sculpture of someone that could have you killed, you should you watch your P's and Q's. Beautiful job. <laughs> Make them look however they want. Yes. There's more of the forum we're going down into. We go this way to go pretty deep into it. I better catch up to my mom. I don't want her falling over. The lady was just telling us this was the Basilica, which was a uh, courthouse. Not to be confused with Christian um, churches. Looking. Look at all the flowers everywhere. That's really interesting. The temple that we just saw got converted to a church with a little cross at the top. That's why they didn't uh, recycle the steel, the steel, metal, bronze, steel, the bronze in the Middle Ages. <laughs> Our tour guide said this was a pagan temple, but you'll see the Christians cross at the top because they couldn't pull these columns down and destroy it. So they had to work with it and make it a church. So I guess we're approaching kind of the middle of the forum. But uh, this, all of those kind of cobbles, that's why I'm not really walking and filming. <laughs> I'm trying to keep an eye on you, mom. So that behind me is the tomb of Julius Caesar. So you can kind of see the picture of what it actually looked like and they have no idea where his actual um, ashes are. They were probably in gold urns is what she said, but that's what's left of it. <laughs> and uh, she was talking about how he was, my mom's over here, how he was assassinated because he was becoming a dictator even though he was beloved. And well, the people loved him, but the senators did not. No, of course they didn't. <laughs> but um, they wanted the power. But then, kind of how she's talking about how it was in vain because then his adopted son, who was, rec was recognized as his heir, and then took over anyway. And she said it was the death of the Republic of Rome. On with the Empire. On with the Empire. Side note though, my cat's name is Caesar Augustus the Great. <laughs> He's tiny too, he's tiny, but he has a very big name. We call him Gus, just FYI. <laughs> Something that always interested me is the fact that um, the Romans knew how to make cement and bricks. And you said the first time you went to the Colosseum, you didn't think that they yeah. were actually... That it was original. Yeah, that it was original. It so good and It modern. is, it is. It is. They were quite, um, quite advanced. <laughs> 